What's up, my people? Love y'all. Love y'all. We're in Aquarius season. Uh, I don't know if this guy's Aquarius, to be honest with you, but I want you to check out what he says. This guy's name is uh, Dr. Godfrey Higgins. He has a book called Anacalypsis. We're going to read page 51. This was published in uh, 1836. So this is before the Civil War in America. Um, probably around the time, I think, for the, uh, the Berlin Conference or whatnot. But I just want to show you some stuff that you probably should be hearing in school, you know, other than your history start with slavery. So this guy says, in his book, page 51, he said, I shall in this course of this work produce a number of extraordinary facts which will be quite sufficient to prove an African race in very early times had more influence over the affairs of the world than has lately been suspected. And I shall show by some very striking circumstances existing the effects of this influence have not entirely passed away. So this is the book produced 1836 by a guy, Garfield Higgins, a European, that just, let me go find out what's going on, you know? And so let's decipher what he say. He said, I shall in this course of this work produce a, a number of extraordinary facts, which will be quite sufficient to prove that the African race, black people, Moors, you know, Hebrews, you know, that the African race, right? Let's go back. I said that encompasses all that because more African are synonymous, more African and Indian are synonymous, African and Hebrew. Hebrew is Afro Asiatic language, right? The African race in very early times, so before you were colonized and a slave, in early times, you had more influence over the affairs of the world than has been lately suspected. And so it's like he, so how could you have? Uh, more influence over the affairs of the world if you're being taught your history start with slavery or start with colonization. Right? Why are you not being told that you had influence to basically you able, you were self-sufficient to um, take care of yourselves, ourselves, right? So let's, let's read that again. In this work, in this course of work produce, I'm, I'm sorry, I shall in this course of work produce a number of extraordinary facts which will be quite sufficient to prove an African race in very early times had more influence over the affairs of the world than has been lately suspected. Mm. What have been lately suspected? So apparently something he's been he's been taught something else to the point that now that he's doing his research, he's like, wait a minute. How the hell? The king looked like this so-called black man or a queen black woman, right? And, oh, this army, this powerful army or this scientist doctor was the so-called black people that I'm told was just slaves in the um, United States, right? And he said, I shall show by some very striking circumstances yet existing the effects of this fluence have not entirely passed away. So he's saying the fluence that we had he going to show that, hey, it really ain't gone. It's still here. The influence these black people had over the world, you can still see that and if you really pay attention. And so uh, this is Godfrey Higgins, Anacalypsis, written 1836. Where, um, this is before the Civil War, where he like, hey, what I was taught in school and what I went to go find myself seems to be very different about these black folks. You told me they were weak and docile. I'm searching. I'm seeing that they had, in very early times, more influence over the affairs of the world. So that's your boy, Pella. Man, I just want to tell you, you know, keep studying yourself. Keep loving yourself and love your people. You know what I'm saying? Keep giving out energy for everybody who does want to learn. You know what I'm saying? But uh, you can just clearly see that uh, you're basically on a plantation, okay? So I love you. Keep on critically thinking. Don't just take what I say. You go research and study yourself. Go to museums. Travel the world. All right. I love y'all. Shim Hotel. Peace.